Hey guys, I just wanted to tell you guys my top 2009 apps. All the apps that I will be talking about in this video will be in the description, so watch the full video and look at the description, follow me on Twitter and whatnot. Subscribe, comment, whatever. Alright, so this is Twitterific. It pulls the latest Twitter updates from people you're following or anything like that. You can configure it however you want. You can uh, get tweets from people you follow, public timeline, anything. It's free. There's also a paid version if you want it. So check it out. It's really nice. It's really sleek. It goes on your desktop, and I just hide it in the corner over there. And whenever I get a new one, I just scroll up, and there it is. This other one is called Drag Thing. So Drag Thing is a really cool, just sleek. I, I really like sleek apps. So. It's really cool, it's really small, and it, these are all the applications I have opened. It's kind of like a mini dock. They have a whole bunch of kind of different ways you can do it. You can have one down here, you can have one er anywhere, and I just like this size, so I, I mean, I can just click on it and I can go to that spot and whatnot. Uh, my other favorite one is called uh, Evernote. You can just write notes. So it basically is an online note taker. So I can take a note, let's say, uh, so I can make a note, and then I can email it more, delete it and whatnot, and then it's saved, and then it's also online, so I create an account, and then I can also then put it online, and then I think they have iPhone apps and whatnot, so it's really just like an online note taker and I use it a lot I just reinstalled the snow leopard so you're not gonna see too many notes from me but uh, I, it's awesome uh, another top one that I really like is called Annexity I think and it's uh, kind of a task manager and it's really nice it does a great job you can hide it put it there I usually keep it open it's so small and just nice so I can just write it in tasks saying like uh, get food and then adds it and then when I do it I just check it off and it's gone. So it's a really nice easy task manager without the pop-ups and all these different things. It, it, I mean it's just to, if you are on task it tells you what you need to do next. There's a whole bunch of other apps like things and stuff like that that you might like. Uh, another one is also Autumn. I, I love this. It's like the better AIM. It's really small. I mean, you can make it look however you want. There's hundreds of themes and hundreds of scripts, and it's just like completely customizable, and it works really, really nice. I like it a lot. So uh, check it out. I, I I use it. And then all the one is Camtasia. I'm sure this is what I've been using to record my videos. Uh, a few of them. It's really nice. It has the probably the best editor for quick editing. Uh, I mean, there is Adobe After Effects and stuff like that, but this is really quick. Like the exporting for like a 30 minute video will take me like five minutes, something like that. So it's really quick and it's really efficient and there's uh, themes and stuff like that. And if you record with their program, you can also do zoom ins and a whole bunch of little effects that you've seen in my videos and stuff like that. That's really simple to use. So if you really like making cool videos that are really easy, I really recommend this program. My last and favorite application that I've used so far is Cover Sutra. And I'm not really sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but that's how I say it. And you can pretty much use iTunes without actually having to scroll through all your things. It's like Spotlight, but for music, and it does a really nice job. So uh, let's say if I wanted to listen to Seven Nation Army, I can just search it and then play it. Job. Let me just pause it. So it does an awesome job, and it's really nice. And I just always keep that open, so I can just start my music without having to go into iTunes, pause it, and whatnot. So it's like a really nice iTunes. So those are my favorite apps of 2009. I will be posting uh, more videos about my favorite apps each month. So check back. Thank you guys for watching. Hey.